What's up everybody, Tidamic Games here, and welcome back to Let's Play Quake 2. Um, I guess we'll just get straight into this part. I don't need a reason to recap what happened on the last part. You guys can watch that if you need to. Oh gosh, don't shoot me. He did a shoot attack. Oh god. I didn't see him at first. Alright. So, uh, let me see. Oh god, was I really too close to that? Alright, well. Oh crap. I really did a number on my health. Let's see if I can go find some health after I grab these shells. And this armor. Um. So yeah, uh. I think I already said this a lot, but I'm pretty blind to this game. In fact, I'm pretty sure I said this like a fuck ton in the last episode. But I'm super blind to this game, so I'd like... I'm... I have no idea what's gonna happen, for the most part. I mean, I do know a couple, like, basic things that are definitely gonna happen. A couple things that, you know, might happen. <clears throat> or a couple things that I think might happen. I don't know. Let's just keep moving. Anybody else I need to fight before I do this? Alright, I'm gonna open this. And this is the machine gun. This is a super useful weapon. Because it's basically like an all-purpose machine gun. It's like the SMG, sort of. In the, um... In a Half-Life. Alright. I don't know why. I keep hitting the R button to reload in this game. But you don't need to reload in this game. I might actually need to turn up the brightness. Hold on a second. Oh god. I hope that didn't mess up my recording. Jesus. Where did that come from? Where are those shots even coming from? I don't know. Well, I guess I'm back. <laughs> In any case. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's go up this elevator thingy here. Now remember, I'm mostly blind to this game, so... I don't really know what's uh, going on here. Oh god! I thought I heard you, but I didn't see you. Man, where are you guys coming from? Oh! Coming from that area that just opened up randomly. <clears throat> Alright, let me see. Let me look around right quick oh I see some uh, stuff or oh I see ammo too oh I don't even need the ammo I'm full on uh, bullets right now oh. now I'm warning you these levels get pretty confusing at times so I might get lost a couple of times um, like right now <laughs> because they loop around a lot and like because of that there's like a, you might miss like a certain, oh god. You might miss a, uh, a certain um, exit or something that was there. There we go. Oh, here's a, here's a thing that I was thinking about. So actually, this bridge, this bridge blows out so you're like, oh, well I can't go across here anymore. So you're supposed to find a way around. But, there's actually a way that you can sequence break this game, so that you just go straight over there. If you just jump across this, from the very tip of this to that, and you do a, sp a quick sprint, and you're able to get on the edge of that, you can just totally sequence break this whole part, and you skip, like, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of chapters where you're, like, going through sewers and whatnot. Alright, let's go down here not fall down onto that because that guy looks like he had a pretty bad time with that whoa what was that sound do a quick look around here yeah the sounds in this game are a little bit eerie since like because like the sounds are all gone for the most part there we go found a secret area what is that a shock oh it's just a regular shotgun I didn't even need that. 
but yeah, since like there's no music and there's no like um, soundtrack or anything to go with this game, it's a lot more eerie and kind of creepy because it's just all I'm listening to are just like the sounds of other enemies that are just hanging around, or like um, just the uh, sounds in the background for the most part. There we go. Totally killed him. Okay. Stop talking to me in my ear. I don't know who that is, but they're just talking to me. And I don't know what's going on. I'm actually not really paying attention to the guy that's talking there. For the most part, I'm just looking for secrets and whatnot. So I know that I'm supposed to go in here. Oh god, where did that... There's something, like, from my right. Oh, I guess that was you. Um, do I need health? Yeah, I guess not. Um, I might need ammo, though. Wait, is this the end of the level? Nah, I've only been going for six minutes. I'm continuing. I'm pretty sure this is the end of that level, but I don't care. I'm gonna keep going. Also, I noticed in the last recording... Oh, I got an update. Uh, establish communication link to command ship. Same thing. Um, locate communication center. Okay, I'll do that. All right, now let's let's just keep moving, I guess. Okay, I think I've decided how I'm gonna do this series instead of doing it level by level because each level is like super short. Instead, I'm gonna do it slightly different. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep going until there's a good place to stop. Uh, I'll go for at least, I'd say, 15 minutes. I'd say 15 minutes is a good place, like, to sort of leave it. But I'm always going to stop at a... I'm always going to try to stop at a good stopping point. Yeah, there we go. Grab some ammunition for this. Oh, what is this? What is that sound? Oh god, I think I know what that is. There's a sucker over there. There he is. Ugh, those- oh god, those guys freak me out. Ugh. I think I actually have a figure of one of these guys. Or my dad has a figure of those on his desk because he used to be a huge Quake fan. Um, I mean, basically still is, but... He played the shit out of this game in particular. He actually uh, made a bunch of really popular mods way back in the day, but that was way back in the day. Um, and I think that's sort of where I got my love for FPSs and like just games in general is from my dad because he was super into video games way back in the day. But it was mostly games like this and like it was like it was mostly PC games because. Oh wait, maybe I can... Can I platform across these explosive barrels? Oh, nice! And I got a quad damage. So I don't know exactly how these... Um... Items work. I'm gonna need to remember because... Let me see. Let me actually figure this out right now. Can I swap through them like this? Okay. So if I press the brackets that swaps through these and I don't know how to use them but I'm gonna try to figure that out uh... okay let me go on something well I might need this soon because I don't wanna well, let me stick it on this I think that E may be the use button nope maybe not I just pressed the I just pressed E and that didn't work all right, and so that's how quad damage in this game is different from the first Quake game. It um, in order to use quad damage in this game, you gotta equip it and use it. Whereas in the first game, you just used it immediately. Oh gosh! There we go. Um, I could jump down there, but I have a feeling that may lead to my demise. So I don't want to go and do that. Oh, what, what was that? 
Where did that come from? Is that from over here? I could have sworn this sounded like it was coming from over here. Does this guy have flies around him? Oh, gross. I thought the bad guy came from over here. There's definitely a bad guy somewhere that was trying to attack me. Oh, he's upstairs. I didn't even realize there was an upstairs. Man, the A on this thing is awful. I'll say that right now. Oh, sweet. There's the sky. The ruined sky. Oh, it's really awesome. It's so cool. Um, okay. Oh my god, I didn't realize those were explosive barrels. Here, let's, let's use the quad damage real quick. There we go. That was a bad place to use it, but whatever. Um, oh, I need to find more people to use it on. Where did that come from? Whatever. I need the blue key. Damn it, I want to find more people to use this against. Nope, he is dead. Yeah, there we go. More people to use it on. Eh, that didn't last a long time. <laughs> Alright. There we go. So this game is probably going to be super laid back, just so you guys know. I'm not going to be all, like, up and excited about it or yelling or anything. It's just going to be, like... Yeah, I'm just casually playing this game. Damn it. You got me a bit. Alright, at least I got some health, though. Um. Okay, well. I didn't leave anything back here, did I? I didn't think so. There's some bullets, but that's it. Ugh, die, please. Oh, god. I think Tank Jr. is over there, but I can't look right now. I need to kill this guy. Oh, yep, there he is. There's Tank Jr., guys. That's this guy's name. I believe that's who that is, at least. I should have saved my quad damage for this guy. Oh, God. Oh, well, I killed him. That was actually very quick. Is there something I missed? I feel like I missed something. Um, I think that's the end of the level, so I'm not gonna go do that yet. I'm gonna look around a little bit more. Because I still wanna find, like, secrets and whatnot. So I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna miss anything. Ah, here we go. It's not a secret, but... Um, shit. Finding secrets is gonna be hard in this game. They're, like, super hidden, and I don't- I have no idea where they would even be. Hold on, I gotta itch. Ugh. There we go. I got that. Environment suit. Oh, maybe I need to use the environment suit when I go into there. Um, let me look at my items. So if you can't see where my items are, down below my gun, next to where the uh, bullets are, and next to also where the armor is supposed to be, but I don't have any armor, is that. Um, I don't know how to use it. Let me look in the options real quick on how to use that. Um... Go to customize controls. Uh. Oh, to use the item is enter. Okay, I see. So, because that stuff's uh, radioactive and it's gonna fill that thing up. Let's use it. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't think I was supposed to use it immediately, but. Now I've got the suit that's keeping me safe. And there we go. That's all I had to do there. I don't know what that exactly gave me. I think that might have been actually like a med kit that it's reusable. Um, or I thought it was reusable. I thought it shows up in your inventory as something you can use. I guess not. Whatevs. No biggie. Um, I think I'm probably going to end this episode after this uh, level. Because there's a pretty concise, good place to stop it. Only problem is there's so much in this level I feel like I haven't really encountered. 
I thought that was the end of the level over where I was before, where Tank Jr. was. But there's an area where I can use a blue key, so maybe there's more to the level once you uh, go in here. What'd I do? Oh, hey, it's the blue key. Computer updated. Alright, what does it say? Primary unit objective completed. Use blue key card to enter alien bunker installation. I have 0 out of 2 secrets and 1 out of 2 goals. Uh, but I got 25 out of 33 kills, so there's a plus. Any secrets over here I can get? No? Okay, whatever. I don't even know where to find any of these secrets because, like, I found a lot of cool, like, hidden stuff, but none of them were secrets. That's really crazy. They really hide their secrets really well in this game. Um. Alright. Okay, so I gotta go. That's right, I gotta go back to where the blue key card was. What the fuck? Oh no. These guys suck too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. Um. Alright. I got the blue key card. Oh, computer updated. Bad time, computer. Oh, actually, I have a slightly funny story. Um, it's not super related or anything. Actually, it's pretty related. Uh, what? Locate unit, exit, and kill all resistance. Oh, okay. There's only two more people left, so. And there they are. Got all the kills. Nice. So, um... What I was going to say is that, uh, I actually have this game for the N64, um, and the story behind it's not really super funny. I just found it at a thrift store and was like, hey, I like Quake 2. I wonder how it'd be on the N64. Uh, spoiler warning, it's awful. <laughs> um, not nearly as bad as Doom 64, may I, uh, say. May I just say. Is this gonna load? Yep, it's a loading screen. So I think I'm actually gonna stop it after this. Yeah, that's a pretty good place to stop it. I'll just pause here and stop this recording right around here. But anyway, um, what I was saying just now, because I wanna finish my thought before I end this, I found Quake 2 at the uh, thrift store and I bought it and it's terrible. They got the controls somewhat right. You can actually customize the controls very very precisely which is really good because that makes it so I can use the d-pad to move around and use the right stick to uh, look and then I can use the Z button to shoot so there I've got a little bit more control and then the A and B buttons just um, the A and B buttons just switch between weapons because in order to press buttons you don't actually need to use a button um, I don't think there are any items in that game and the maps are completely different so it's a little bit weird, but I don't know. I thought it would be interesting to talk about because it's somewhat related to what I'm playing right now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, listening to that uh, incredibly riveting story. Um, and uh, I hope you guys tune in next time to join me as I play more of this. And um, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.